Now more than ever, America needs its energy independence. Keep in mind, we're getting paid off by Saudi right now just so that we can get that oil out of a very controversial area. Right now, we've been sending missiles over to areas of Yemen, and it's do we back the king of Saudi Arabia or do we back Iran? Well, in our situation, we're back in Saudi Arabia and Israel. But it puts America in a conflict all over a precious commodity, and it's a commodity that we have here in the United States. OPEC has got together to where they could make oil at $50 a barrel. Well, at $50 a barrel, it's pretty profitable here for us here in the United States as well. Problem is, we don't have enough refineries in every state so that we can make it available to the people when we produce it in every state. So if we want fewer pipelines, the issue then is to increase our refineries. And that way we won't have to move it out of the bed and then across a precious river, which is a problem that we're facing in America right now. Obama just recently approved all of the pipelines that were on his desk. And if you paid attention, he, he held back from that throughout his administration. He's doing that because Saudi's making some very massive war type moves and if a war kicks off we've got to have oil because oil could easily go from a hundred to two hundred dollars a barrel again. I'm fine with that of course but so there again if <clears throat> if you want to properly address the needs or the concerns of oil and gas companies to stop what they're doing then what you need to do is understand that the EPA has created laws where once refineries have been shut down, they can no longer be built. So now we have areas where there's fields, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and we could refine them there if the EPA changed the laws, but we're not able to. And as such, these pipelines are being created. Um, I'm here for change. I'm just letting you know another angle that we can use because of the protests and because of what's going on. Thanks for listening.